Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be replacing the hard drives in a mirror drive door and Firewire 800 model Power Macintosh G4. The process for both these machines are identical. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our Power Mac G4 on a static free workspace. We are ready to begin. Our first step is to open the machine. To do so, lift up on the handle on the side and lower the door. There are two drive bays in which we can install our hard drive. The rear bay, which is the faster of the two and supports a 133 ATA connection, or the front bay, which supports an ATA 66 connection. We will show you the process for installing a drive in both locations. To remove the rear hard drive bay, unclip the ribbon cable by pushing down on the clip and pulling the cable free. Now remove this Phillips screw. There is a latch located here that you need to pull forward on as you lift the entire drive bay up and out of the slot. Now remove the power and cable ribbon and set the drive bay aside. Before we can install our new hard drive in the drive bay, we need to prepare it by setting the jumpers to cable select. Please refer either to your manual or the diagram on the hard drive itself for this procedure. Now slide your hard drive into place in the rear drive bay. There are four screws provided on the drive bay itself that we will need to remove and reuse to secure our hard drive into the drive bay. Now use these four screws to secure the new hard drive into place. With the new hard drive in the bay, place the bay back into the G4 and connect the ribbon cable to both the new and older hard drives. Now connect the power cable. To secure the drive bay inside the G4, push and slide it down until it locks into place. Now replace the Phillips screw. Now reconnect the ribbon cable to the clip by snapping the clip closed. To install the hard drive in the front bay, first unclip the ribbon cable here by pushing on it until the clip pops open. Then pull out the power and top ribbon cable. To remove the front drive bay, remove this Phillips screw. Now push down on the latch to the right and slide the drive bay out. Make sure your new hard drive is set to the cable select option, then remove the four screws provided on the drive bay itself. Now slide the drive into place and secure using the four Phillips screws. To install the drive bay, simply line up the bay in the slots and push it in until it clicks and locks into place. Then replace the Phillips screw. Now connect the power connector first and then connect the ribbon cable to the hard drive. To secure the ribbon cable back to the clip, lift the ribbon cable up, open the clip, Push the cable down into place and push close the clip until it locks. 
To close the Power Macintosh G4, simply lift and close the door until it locks into place. 